Hey everybody, I'm joined now by legendary breaker Sean Anderson, also one of our USBW officials. We are at the US Open in Orlando, Florida. Sean here has no idea why I pulled him over now and what we're going to talk about. But Sean, how are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. How are Excellent. you doing? Excellent. I'm doing good. I'm feeling good right now. So I want to talk to you, Sean, a little bit about Pro Series Finals. So you were a part of the very first Pro Series we did a few years ago. You were the lightweight champ. You came out on top and had that experience. How was that experience? Oh, it was awesome uh, to compete against John Hardwick and uh, my instructor, Grandmaster Ralph Bergamo. It was just uh, everything I've aspired to kind of be and to compete against them. It's, it's really fun. That is awesome. I know you've done a lot of other very large competitions, very high level competitions that might be considered the highest you can go as a breaker. How was the Pro Series in compared to that? Because we are trying to build that event to be a pinnacle for breakers. It, uh, I, to me, I think the, uh, the Pro Series breaking was the best event I've ever competed in. Um, just to go against that level of competition head to head and then to uh, the opportunity to move on to uh, another competitor that's proven themselves against two just as good uh, worthy competitors it's it's the pinnacle of breaking in my, my my book that is awesome so since the time that you do the pro series I don't know how much you've been keeping up but we've added a new qualifier for the pro series called the black belt challenge I don't know much you followed that but now in order to get into the pro series you have to win the black belt challenge which is a card draw it's you have no idea what to break you show up they select a card and then they have to break that I don't know if you follow that at all but how do you feel about going into a competition blind and having to break anything you draw I think that's awesome it makes the it forces the competitors to have to be ready for anything and in breaking in and all martial arts you should be ready to, to use all of your strikes efficiently so just to have uh, it drawn at wild is kind of exciting and fun I think that's pretty true and I agree and that's, that's got the thought behind it so we're right now leading up to the Northeast Open in August which is on August 11th but Friday night August 10th is the Pro Series Finals this is the end now so we have our two lightweights and our two heavyweights lightweights we have Seth Britton and Ken Goodrich and our heavyweights we have Daniel Payton and Clinton Murphy and I know you know a lot of those guys and I also know that a lot of people are trying to play this very politically polite and they don't want to offer their opinion one way or the other which I totally respect because it's martial arts respect but we're also talking sports and we're also talking you know some things are subjective and just facts and opinions and it's not gonna hurt anybody's feelings how do you feel let's say I know you're very close with both heavyweights we got Daniel and Clint you grew up with with Clint Daniel is a part of your organization any strengths or weaknesses you see or maybe just because playing the game right you want to point out just some strengths that either one brings to the table all four of the breakers in, in that lightweight and heavyweight have their own individual strengths and that's what I like about this pro series is they uh, they're gonna highlight those strengths and you're gonna see all of those um, and it's really tough to to pick a, who you think is gonna be a winner in, in an event like this because it all comes down to the day it's breaking you have two two power events which you're competing in so you win both of those it's yours you don't leave it up to to the judges and creative there's a lot of kind of variables for it so uh, to, to pick anyone, I, I don't know, you gotta, you, you're going to have to consult Vegas on that. That sounds good. Excellent. Thank you for the talk. I know that this remarks, uh, this event, you returned to competition after a few years off. I heard that you're training hard, and we, we look forward to seeing how you do representing the USBA, the AFKTF, and you know your school and stuff. So good luck to you. Thank you. Looking forward to it.